first congregational church, one of our uh, downtown neighbors, Lonnie Hall DuPont. Hi, Lonnie. Hi, Bart. Good to see you. Good to see you. Usually Lonnie's here with a book or uh, poems. Yeah, or, yeah. But today you're... Those are uh, coming up. Those are coming up. You're the Social uh, Action Committee. Social Concerns Committee. Social Concerns yep. Committee mm -hmm. at uh, First Congregational Church. All yes. right, what, what's, uh, you've got an event. Well, first of all, I want to point out, I don't know if that mural can be seen by people on your website or, or what. It can. But our church yes. is right there in that mural, and I That's always right. like that. I your always enjoy that. Our mural. You should pass some yeah. royalty yeah. Yeah. on the morning show mural. <laughs> or maybe we should pay you a yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. um, Well, we're having a picnic. It's a neighborhood picnic. That's what we're calling it because we have neighbors. We'd like to get to know them. We've got a good um, weekend to do it because this is, you know, as we all know, it's Brightwell's weekend, mm -hmm. and we're hoping for a lot of foot traffic. So it's going to be on Sunday from noon to 3 at our church, which First Congregational is um, on the corner of Jackson and uh, Michigan Avenue. What is the name of the park there? Horace, Horace Black Park. park. Yeah, right there. And, but we'll be in the back on the Pearl Street side in our parking lot and in our courtyard. And so it's obviously it's an outdoor picnic and we're having food uh, free. We're not charging. We've got hot dogs. We've got picnic food, hot dogs, watermelon, corn on the cob and uh, cookies. And of course, you always want to have cookies from a church because they're usually pretty good and um, beverages and popcorn. Oh, yeah. You're known for popcorn. We're known for our popcorn. You sell that at the cruise nights yep. and uh, other. Yep. Yeah. Yes, we do. And a uh, you know, good old fashioned popcorn maker. And we'll have music from Surfer, uh, DJ Surfer Joe, who actually is my husband. And um, <laughs> so he was an easy yes. Uh, and then we'll also, if, for those who are interested, at one o'clock, we're gonna have a church tour. And we'll have a sign to show where to show up for that. And then we'll walk people in, tour the church, which is historic. Mm -hmm. And um, also we have a historic organ in the church. So someone will give a, a sh brief talk and a brief um, presentation on the organ also. So um, really it's just a, it's just where we just want people to, oh, dogs are welcome, welcome. In fact, pets are welcome, but I'm assuming they're going to be dogs. Please don't bring your python, but um, <laughs> do dogs are welcome. I wish I could bring my cats, but they're not going to want to do it. So uh, we will have treats for the dogs. We'll have swag bags for people who come. And, you know, we've got a lot of new residences around town. And there's just a lot more action around town than there used to be. And we just like to people, for people to know we're there. In the past, the motto of this church has been um, the, the church with the heart and the heart of Jackson. Um, and that's still true, but now we like to say, wherever you are on your journey, come see us, we're here. Uh, yeah, you mentioned that uh, you've got new apartment buildings that have <laughs> popped up all around your all church. Around. Mm -hmm. you, have you benefited from that? Um, one or two people. Oh. So we have put signage up so that when they look out when they're having coffee, <laughs> hey, we're here. Um, so we're just hoping for more and, and out in the outskirts too. Um, but even if no one lives downtown, come and have a hot dog, you know. Yeah. Um, this church is, is, it's historic and it's a handsome old church. It's the oldest church in town. Is it? I believe it is. Okay. I, I, okay. It was built in 1860 mm -hmm. and, um, you know, the congregation itself started in 1837, which is about the time Jackson was made a, a town. And you probably know this was a rowdy town back then. Mm -hmm. And uh, our church is, has been known since its beginning to um, work with social justice and issues of the day. And at that particular time, one of the issues was um, temperance, which is the abstinence from alcohol. This was not popular in Jackson. And yeah. um, the story is that they went after the minister. He had to hide in a cornfield. Uh, they shaved his horse's mane. Um, but he came back from it and rode his horse to church every Sunday. And as time went on, it became a serious anti-slavery church. And the night before our troops went to Detroit to go down south for the Civil War, they um, had a prayer vigil in our church and they mustered out in the area. And so, you know, they really always had 
anti-slavery concerns. Some members actually were part of the Underground Railroad here in Jackson mm -hmm. as well. So we try to carry that tradition. Um, we, we do all we can do to feed the community on Tuesdays. Come on in, where you can get a free hot lunch on a Tuesday. Um, and we just try to help out where we can. We love the community and we love each other. So come and, so this is, the, our theme for this picnic is love is the message. Oh, okay. Yes. So do people need to bring anything or just themselves? Bring a dog. <laughs> If you've got one, no, just bring yourselves, no money needed, we would be happy to see you. There's all the details this Sunday. Great to see you, Lonnie. Yeah, great to see you. From First Congregational Church, Lonnie Hall, DuPont. Thanks so much, Bart. You bet. Uh, big